this is Mighty Sight, which is an LED magnifying eyewear as seen on TV. Does it really work as advertised? I'm gonna find out in today's video. Mighty Sight as advertised is allowing you to see bigger, brighter, and clearer. It's a 160 magnification with LED lights built into the frame. That's a new one. Let's check it out. It is a, a charging cable. I'm pretty sure that the website says that if you buy it on the website, you get a carrying case. This is not a carrying case, it's more of a carrying bag. But we'll forgive him for that. And some instructions. Let me read these over real quick. Lift out the glasses themselves without breaking it. All right, very attractive glasses. You got the lights here, nose bridge. It's one single piece. Here you got the charging port, the on off switch and a, apparently a light indicator. Something very interesting in the instructions is that it says to wear that on the tip of your nose, not on the bridge of your nose. What's interesting about that, well, that's not interesting in itself, but what's interesting is that their commercial shows everybody wearing it wrong. Everybody in the commercial is wearing it all the way back like you're not supposed to according to their own instructions. They didn't train their actors to wear them properly, I guess. Let me put them on for the first time and just see how they feel. All right, tip of your nose. Okay, well, I don't need magnification that strong, but... Oh, he's got the sideboard glasses on. I mean, every time I try to adjust them, I'm hitting this button. That's kind of weird. Let me just grab something and see how they work on the first use. All right, well, the, the lights have kind of a blue tint to them, which is not a problem to me. It magnifies them pretty well, actually. These, as soon as I saw these, they look familiar. As someone who's done quite a few As Seen on TV reviews in my time, two years ago, I reviewed something very similar without the LED lights called Big Vision Glasses. Mighty Sight, Big Vision. Look at the frame. The frames are very, very similar. The difference is that the Big Vision doesn't extend across the top as far as the frame goes. Here, the, the plastic does. And of course, this one doesn't have lights in it, and this one does. So to me, this, and they're both 160 magnifications, so to me, the Mighty Sight is just a new version of the Big Vision where they added LED lights. Here's the Big Vision. Now it works just as well, but it doesn't have those fancy LED lights. These, I'm not sure if they're available in stores anymore. They, they were for a long time. You might still see them on an ASEAN TV shelf, but they're kind of going away. I don't think they made these recently. Uh, these were cheaper. I think these are 10 to $15. But the Mighty Sight are 20 and I keep hitting that button every time I grab the lenses. Let me just grab this vitamin bottle here and see how, what kind of a range I have as far as the Mighty Sight goes. So if I hold it way back here, I, I see it's, very, it's blurry. And right here, it's in view. Maybe about, a, about 12 inches, about a foot away from me. And it's better view and it's becoming less in focus. So it's about a 6 to 12 inch range uh, as far as the focus goes. And let me see, without the lights, you know the lights do actually make a difference. Surprisingly, when I turn them off, they shouldn't have put the button right here. They shouldn't have done that. It's right where you grab the lenses. It does make a difference when they're on versus when they're off. Let's try the big vision. It's about the same range. It feels, lens wise, they seem exactly the same. You know, they even have the logo in, in the same spot too. They're very similar. But what happens if I don't wear them the proper way, way up here? Let me see. Guess what, they still work. I don't know why it has to be worn that way. They don't really say why that's better than that, or do they? It just says it should be worn near the tip of your nose, not in the same position you wear normal glasses. To me, they work about the same either way. Apparently all the actors said they worked the same too because the actors were reacting as if they were fantastic and they were all wearing them wrong. They said you can wear them with prescription glasses. Well, here's some prescription reading glasses. Nah. Now I'm not sure you're supposed to wear them over other reading glasses, but these are the only glasses I have, so we're gonna have to just act like these are not reading glasses. What do you guys think? How does that look? Stylish? Ah, it's not for style though, right? Wow, if I have both glasses on, I have to put it this close to my face to be able to see it, but the text is huge. This is like double reading glasses. And it's actually lit up too. It kind of barely fit over those. If they're a little bit wider, it would not have fit. They definitely won't fit over the big vision glasses unless I put the frames on top of each other. Yeah, I don't think so. 
I have to put it this close to my face to see with both of them. You wouldn't want to do that though. All right, so next up, what I'm going to do is plug this in and charge it all the way up and then see how long the battery actually lasts because you're not going to want to sit there reading your book while the lights go out halfway through. So let's see how long this battery life actually is. Now, I don't know how fully charged it was to begin with, so I'm not sure if this is half charged, 35% charged, 100% charged, but I'm going to make sure it's fully charged and I'm going to see how long the batteries actually last. And I got it resting there on my socket shelf, which I recently reviewed. Good place for it. And now we wait. All right, it is fully charged. Let's see how long this thing can actually last. And here we go. I got my clock set to 12. We'll see how long this goes. And now we wait. All right, we're at the three and a half hour mark and these lights have gotten quite dim. I don't know if it can show on camera, but they don't look like they'd really illuminate too much. Let me, I'm going to say at three and a half hours, that's about as much as you can expect. All right, I'm in my closet right now, which is the only really dark place in my house in the daytime. As you can see from the outside light, it is not 100% dark in here, but it's pretty dark. Let me pull out my trusty vitamin bottle and see if I can read it in the dark here. Wow, you know what? Actually, I can't really, I can't really read it. Kind of read it. It's pretty dim. Yeah, it doesn't really translate on camera because my camera is going to adjust uh, the light, but it's very hard to read in this light. So uh, let me charge this thing up and see if I can read this with these fully charged because right now, even though it looks decent in the closet, when it comes to actually reading, not so good. But does, does it look cool? That's what I, I most important thing is how do I look? Cause I, you know, you kind of look stylish in your reading glasses. Tell me what you guys think about that. It actually looks kind of cool in this light. The two sinister lights on the side of your head. That's pretty cool. All right, let's charge it up and see how that looks. All right, it's finished charging now. Now the uh, the instructions say that it takes about 30 minutes to charge, which is I found to be accurate, and it says you get about three hours of light, which I found to be uh, actually a little bit more than that. So let me see if I can read this vitamin bottle now that it's fully charged. Oh yeah, it is brighter definitely brighter. I can read the whole thing. Before I was kind of squinting and maybe able to make out some words. Now it's actually pretty bright. So I think their instructions are pretty accurate as far as how much time you get out of them. Because by the way, you can't have these on while it's charging. It doesn't work. This won't be exact because my camera's going to focus, but here's kind of what the Mighty Sight is like. It's pretty good. Now check this out. Big Vision. Hey, what do you know? It's about the same thing. Just no lights. Cheap reading glasses. What do you know? It's about the same thing again. But the secret weapon is the LED lights. All right, same test with the lights out. All right, here's the mighty sight with the lights out. It's kind of dark in here. Let me try my LED light. Whoa. Now that's where you see a difference. This is a fully charged mighty sight, by the way. Now if you got reading glasses, uh, I can't read, it's too dark. Big vision. Can't read it, it's too dark. It's taking something that you can pretty much get anywhere for cheap and adding lights to it. And it's up to you to decide if those lights are worth the extra cost. And you'll get about three and a half hours out of these before the lights are too dim to really be worthwhile. So I don't know. What do you guys think? So really it comes down to whether or not you want the lighted feature or not, because if you want the lighted feature, then this is going to be a good deal. But if you're not looking for the lighted feature, you can get any pair of reading glasses that are going to do the same thing. That won't be as bulky. It'll be way cheaper. In fact, if you're looking for a good pair of reading glasses, on the back of my phone is my Thin Optics, which was my product of the year in 2017. This still works well. I always suggest checking those out as well. So what do you guys think? Fantastic invention or just lights on something that doesn't need it? Tell me what you think in the comments below. Please subscribe for more product reviews from me, James White, with Freakin' Reviews.